Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to translate dynamic data. I mean how to translate database data into the another language. And uh, in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a custom PO file for different languages for your custom module, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Olu, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the playlist, you can see different playlists available for this Odoo development here with the different test cases. If you want to learn more about the translation with the different test cases, you can see this playlist available. And here you can see all the playlist available with different test cases. All right. So let's back to our main topic, like how you can translate your dynamic data in one language to another language okay so here i'm talking about the field level translation here so here um, might be might be already aware about our first video like how you can translate one language to another language i gave you the small demo right so here i will give you the full description about that one only so first thing is i'm going to auto training custom add-ons and here in this models file we already translated one field only right and that name is the name field so here what we did is like we use the translation attribute here and uh, that's it right so we are doing the same thing here but not with this module but let's say for the school module so here let's say this is the school module and i'm going to translate dynamic data so as you can see like uh, what is the dynamic data right so everything we store in the database and it will retrieve in the front end side as a view purpose and we can do the crude operation right read let's say the create update and the delete operation. so here like what we have to do is in this case like uh, whatsoever dynamic data we store in the database level we are trying to translate one language to the another language if you already know we already translated uh sorry we already activated two different languages right you can see here the arabic one and the hindi and by default this is the english us version is available and this is the sort code available right now what i will do is like say let's say the school profile here i will try to translate english to hindi and arabic language okay uh, only for the dynamic data not this views part those view part is static part right so we are not talking about today the static part already and if you want to know more about the static uh, labels like this one the menu the actions these labels i already explained in previous sessions already all right so you can just refer that one right now we will only talking about the dynamic data only. all right so for that like i will go to here and uh, like there are a lot of uh, attributes available right in the field level so here one more attribute is the translate and here simple we have to use true so by default it's a false right and if you want to translate so you can you have to override the translate as attribute equal to and value should be the true all right same you can see also here in the models.ui file we we use the same thing here translate equal to true so same thing we can also translate this name field using this attribute here we can restart the service okay then after let's say we can refresh the page all right so simple we have to give uh, we have to provide the access rights don't worry about the access rights i already covered that part okay so don't worry here let's say if i will go to in this profile 
now you can see here it's available this em right and if you see here in the address field right in the address field you can can't see here this en or any other symbols like this one so why it is appear like this because whenever the specific models uh, specific field having this translate equal to true after that you can uh, you can see this e and in this type of button also visible here okay and when you click this one you can see here while you active the arabic language what is the data display so you can see here school xml3 for english the same and for hindi the same right and now i will try to translate this one in hindi first okay like this and i will replace here and another thing is the arabic one and for that one i will copy this one and i will paste here and i will save then after i will try to save now let's say i will try to change the language the first one is the arabic now you can see you can your focus should be here only not with the other data so you can see like this school xml3 right after that let me change the language arabic to hindi you can say school xml3 right and here you can see the button level also change why because your current selected language is hindi so that's the reason you can see here this available as a hi and if i will try to change the language to the arabic you can see the field name uh, the label name also change the ar okay and when you click this button it will display this like this now uh, maybe you have a questions what about the remaining fields i want to translate that is fine like uh, you can go to here uh, sorry like my arabic is i'm not good in arabic so let me translate into the fast english or hindi and settings translation and here you can click to this button okay before that like let me show you here and i will add here like school dot profile okay so here you can see uh, you only have this school profile related translation only this one right not any rest of the translation so for that you can click to translation and click to this generate missing terms and click to arabic update and here you have to wait all right and now i will try to refresh the page so you can see it will display here all the dynamic data and simple you have to translate uh, this to arabic here right and what about the another language hindi language so for that you have to do the same thing you have to select here and you have to click to this hindi that's it and you can see here this is the english version here you have to translate the arabic one why how do you know like i have to only translate into arabic you can see here the language the language is arabic right so due to that you have to translate here arabic only if you by mistakely let's say by mistakely you updated here like portuguese or german or turkish any other languages right here then it will display this language the whatsoever you write down here in the translate translation value so it's nothing worry about you have to just replace your content like demo school one this is the english name and what is translation of the respective languages you have to pass here and once you refresh the screen you can see here it's translate the translation also available for the hindi here all right and let me copy this one so this is arabic one all right so i will pass here arabic let me change to hindi 
right after that let me give you one more demo this is very interesting school xml4 by default i copy this one right and i by mistakenly paste here this is my mistake you can see this is i'm translating the hindi language here but uh, my value is english this one is the english plus the arabic one that is fine there is no any error this is just a translation all right so nothing worry about anything and once i will go to school here and i will try to translate into the let's say hindi right you can see here the xml4 school xml4 and let's say if I'm, i will try to do the same thing in the arabic like whatsoever the translation value is there it will display but right now you can see here it's display as a english language because we didn't translate this part in the arabic language so this is the test cases you can not right so this is the very simplest way you can translate your dynamic data the field level data in one language to another language another thing is this is not necessary to translate only one field you can copy this one and try to paste here in the address part that is also fine right and if you remember i didn't upgrade this module here you can see minus u and the database uh, sorry the module name is not available right i just uh, restarted this service but let's say somehow uh, maybe you are also doing the same thing and the translation field is not activated by default right here yeah, somehow some reason i don't know what is the reason you can see this one ar this is not up here that is fine try to upgrade the module and then after you can see here in this address field it is available this ar or based on your uh, selected activated languages right so let me also translate this address uh, address into the arabic one first right and let me also change in for the hindi to I will save all right so this is the required code available and now you can see here without refresh when I change in that pop-up screen right the translation value it will automatically understand which value I want to uh, which value they want to show like based on the shellaxon language all right and let me try to change the Hindi So you can see this is translated automatically plus you can also add here hi hello okay and uh, you can see also here it's display the notification like address field having uh, some translation already available do you want to translate if you click here it will display like this right and another thing is you can see we translated here in this hindi field right and if i will try to change into the english language here you can see it's display like this why because if you want to translate your data into a multiple languages that time you can uh, let's say uh, in a future you want to add something here right some some content here so that doesn't mean it will also auto add this content after the translated values no so simple what you have to do is you have to yeah first let's see the preferences let me choose the arabic one and i will translate so you can see like this and the main thing is if you click here you can see the some updated things available in english version some code is also available in the hindi language but you see here the arabic one it's not available so for that you have to do manually like this save save and after all the content available here why because it will treat uh, it will treat like for this language the translation value is this one not this one i mean this one 
for Arabic one, this one for English version, for this one and for the Hindi version, this one, right? So here, uh, let's say if you are working with the multiple languages, make sure you can also update here in the three different languages. It is possible, otherwise that's fine if you are not update in all the languages, that is fine, okay? So yeah, that's it for now. If you have any doubt related this dynamic translation related any query, please comment below and see you in next session.